welcome back to the channel today i wanted to talk to you about biomutant and the sun dial puzzles what they're useful for and how to complete them because i had no idea how a sundial works and i had to figure it out so i thought i'd share it with you guys so if you're new around here hit the like button comment subscribe hit the little notification bell leave a comment leave a comment do like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff so sundials if you weren't born in generations past you probably don't know what one of these are or how they work they are used to measure the time of day through shadows from the sunlight so these puzzles can only be done during the day so if it's nighttime for you and you're nearby one of these go and find a campfire sit by it until morning and then go back when the sun is out so the object of this sundial is to get the two noticeable shadow lines on top of each other so they're in a single straight line but also they need to be coming out the certain end of the sundial apparatus which is on top so if you look on screen right now you need it to be facing this way and the shadows to be trailing off the back of it before you choose to actually press the button to complete this puzzle so what's the point in these once you complete one of these it will draw a straight line of light towards an area a cave that you can get into it's got like a pretty much a boarded up wall made of rock and once you activate the sundial it becomes imbued with some sort of magic and then you can open it when you get there you'll see these around the map and not really realize what they are until you do the sundials there are four in total because there are four sundials once you get to this cave and enter it, you're going to go through. There's going to be multiple things that you can collect and explore. There's going to be multiple fights and boss fights. However, the main point of this area is to go and chop up the grass. So you go searching through the area and in one of the final rooms you get to, there'll be long stemmed grass kind of like colorful grass slash flowers type thing you slash them and they fall apart you go and you wipe all of them out and in one of these long tufts of grass a nano will fall out now nanos are these little orange things if you've played the start of the game you know you can collect them and give them to the tree of life to keep the tree of life growing that's the whole premise of the game when you first start it now these nanos exist in the world when you're in the later ages as well your current game and you can collect them and take them back to the tree of life and start to rebuild the tree of life which is getting destroyed in this post-apocalyptic world so activate the sundial have the two shadows line up behind the sundial apparatus or apparatus go to the cave enter the cave go through kill multiple buses explore pick up loot you get to the end of some long stemmed grass kill all of them or kill all of them chop them all up and an orange little nano will pop out use your y button to interact with him you'll catch him in your net and then you take the nano for another side quest back to the tree of life and that's all they're good for and what they're useful for and why you should be doing them and that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video if it helped like comment subscribe all that kind of good stuff thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome